Sandeep, Namaskaram. <laughs> Namaskaram, Sadhguru. Such a pleasure to be with you today. Sadhguru, where do you think education lost the script? Uh, no, education has not lost the script. It is all about how in an individual can unpack his genius. Because genius is a very fragile flower. <laughs> if you... The moment, moment, the moment you put it into your system, it'll get crushed. We are bringing up children as if all of them will go through the same process of life. One who is going to become a scientist, one who is going to become a farmer, one who is going to become an, a clerk, one who is going to become a manager, all these people are first twelve years, one hundred percent going through the same form of education. We want to mass produce education. When you mass produce something, it is all about quantity versus quality. Education is not something that you can just fix like that. Everybody says, okay, what is the best education policy? No education policy is going to fix our education just like that. Unless we are committed as a generation of people, we are committed to slowly turn it around. We must be committed, a lifelong commitment to make education better for the next generation of people. Thank you, Sadhguru. One of the biggest elephants in our workroom, the issue of peace at work or inner wellness. And in some sense, pandemic has pushed a pause button and brought us face to face with our mortality. Sadhguru, in your view, do you think this reset is temporary, a fleeting realization or a sincere opportunity to realign our education and work to truly feel fulfilled. Many people are uh, saying, uh, when will the normalcy come? Who said you were normal before the virus? We were quite abnormal. Now, normalcy has been forced upon us. Unfortunately, it did not come out of our intelligence. It came out of being compelled to behave consciously. How is this? Virus is compelled to behave consciously. Our consciousness should have expelled compulsiveness, but unfortunately the other way it has happened, but whichever way it happens, it is fine. Definitely it will leave some change in behavior, but what extent simply depends on what kind of toll it takes and how long it lasts. Uh, I think in those families where uh, they have paid a big price, I think uh, there, there will be some change. Rest of the people, are going about as if there is no care in the world and a whole lot of people are campaigning, this whole thing is fake. Sadhguru, you talked about the depth of our education in the past. I want to explore a possibility with you. India has established itself as a leading supplier of technology and business services to the whole world, bringing in over 150 billion dollars of revenue. And this industry is actually less than 50 year old. While the roots of our value-based education are more than 10 times deeper. So instead of spending about 25 billion dollars to global education every year, do you see a possibility we can bring home 10x of that, become a center of excellence for the whole world, where India can deliver education as a service to this whole world? If you are really interested in quality education, the most important thing is you have to work on the teachers. They, we have not worked on the teachers, how will you produce great education system? You need your subjects or children. Your subject is not physics, your subject is not chemistry. Your subjects are actually the children. If you know them well, you can deliver education. So there is tremendous possibility with technology. Sadhguru, on that note, do you think there is a possibility for technology to actually join hands with some of the big thinkers in the world and actually create a true democratization of learning? You are uh, throwing me into the trolls of... Uh, the throes of a uh, troll army just now. You want me to be massacred by the troll army, they have been anyway doing it. I will tell you, uh, you are not going to spray perfume to the roots of the uh, plant. You put filth, you put filth there, the manure, the soil, the water, the sunlight and care. In the end, fragrance comes. So, this whole thing about being goal-oriented itself is a wrong approach with education. Education and life is a process. If we do not hold the process sacred, we only hold the goals as the values, then uh, we will inevitably again go in the same way. We've, we have forgotten that our activity, 
and the nature of our activity is largely determined by the times in which we exist, not by our whim and fancy. So it's important that a human being develops to their full size in all aspects of life. What we do must not be determined by us, must be determined by the situations, isn't it? Sadhguru, you talked about holistic way of learning. If you go back a few hundred years, India had almost about 25% contribution to global GDP. Uh, we were one of the leading economies in the world. I'm sure there must be some components of our education that contributed to this reality. There is some… something called as, uh, you know, epigenetic learning process which has happened to us. Because of this, we have a certain type of intellect which is unique in the world. It is not just by accident that uh, in spite of the level of disorganization <laughs> we have, still we are doing well because of individual genius. We always focus… this culture always focused on unpacking an individual's genius because we know intelligence can only find expression through an individual person. A crowd will never act intelligently. It's only individual people. So the more number of people you produce like that, the more uh, capability and uh, greatness will come to a society. Thank you so much, Sadhguru, for sharing your precious thoughts. I'm sure the depth of your views have inspired thousands of entrepreneurs today to rethink education, to reconstruct a refreshing and holistic approach towards education. Namaskaram. Namaskaram.